Hello, thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Christina and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the products that I received in March's BoxyCharm Premium Box. I've been using these products for the last three to four weeks and I thought now that I've used them for a bit I would give you my thoughts and opinions on them and let you know whether I would purchase them again or not. So as a reminder, uh, the BoxyCharm theme for the month of March was Lucky and here are the products that I received. The only product I will not be reviewing is because I did pass it on was the IGK Trust Issues Instant Scalp Rebalancing Treatment. That was something that was meant for a dry, itchy scalp. I actually have um, an oily, oily hair, so I didn't want to try that on my, my head. So I have passed that on and I will not be reviewing it in this video. The first item I am going to review is this. This is the Glow Skin Beauty Hydra Bright Alpha Arbutin Drops. Goal of this product is to basically help diminish dark spots caused by hyperpigmentation, which is when melanin forms under your skin causing darker spots than the surrounding skin. It's also supposed to help get rid of acne scars and basically just do an overall skin toning type of deal. Um, the first thoughts on the product, it absolutely smells horrific, like terrible. Like I don't even know what it smells like, but I don't like it. I did go three or four days with using it um, only once a day just because I wanted to make sure that I wasn't allergic to it or anything. Um, and then I did go to twice a day for the remainder of the time that I have been using it up to today. Um, after the th three or four days, I did do a little research because the smell just wasn't going away once it was on my skin. Like it would linger for hours and I would get a whiff of that gross, disgusting smell. Uh, so the a couple of articles that I read said to uh, use it with a vitamin C moisturizer or serum. I happen to have the uh, CEO Sunday Riley vitamin C hydration cream. Uh, this was a BoxyCharm item last year, uh, which I hadn't opened yet. I'm kind of glad I hadn't opened it because adding this product to this product really did make a difference. It absolutely counteracted the smell and made wearing this product more bearable. I don't think I would have been able to continue to wear it had I not been for this. This product is... $54. Um, would I purchase this with my own money? No, I would not. I did not see any alterations in my skin tone. I don't feel like I was overall brightened in any way. I still have a slight brown patch here on my cheek and a freckle over here on my skin. So I don't know if it's because I just haven't been using the product long enough and it would need some longer term use or if it just isn't going to work for me in anyway. So based off the fact that it didn't work and it's $54, I would not purchase this product again. Next up is the items from Kypris, the eye serum and primer and their shimmer palette. Combined total value for these was $145. Um, I was a little confused when I went on to their website because I wanted to find out how much each product was individually and discovered the set being sold there on their website because it did say that it was a BoxyCharm exclusive both on the original packaging on the card and it's on the back of the box and on the back of the bottle. Um, I'm not naive enough to assume that, that a company is going to sell products only to BoxyCharm. I guess I was naive enough to assume that these as a combined were going to just be available to BoxyCharm. So I guess in reality, when they say it's a BoxyCharm exclusive, it probably means that it wasn't offered to a different subscription service. So you can buy them as a set for the $145 on the website. You could buy for a limited time this product and get this product for free, or you could just buy this product. Um, so this thing, this product confuses me. You can see I've, I've used it a fair amount. Um, it looks really thick in the bottle, but when it comes out of the dropper, I don't even have to like 
take it out of the dropper and just plop it on there and it comes right out. But it's it's relatively very thin, um, which is which was fine, except that it does it does go away, which you know you want. As a primer, however, it did work well. I don't want to say it didn't work well as a primer, but it did. I never had any creasing with any of the shadows I used it with. It did stay a little bit tacky, and so it worked well as an eye primer. My problem with it was with it being the serum. As a serum, it's supposed to create the illusion that your under eyes are lightened. I did not see this effect at all. That could just be because I chronically have dark eyes. I've always had them even as a child. I have like more purple under the eyes than any anything else. So it may just be that it just isn't going to work for me and that is fine. However, the other problem I experienced with using this as a serum is like I said, it does still remain a little bit tacky. So I found that occasionally if I wasn't very careful about making sure I put moisturizer up really close to my eye, um, it would cake up my concealer and I do set my under eyes a little bit. So um, I did have a couple of days where the concealer got mixed up gunky kind of like with this product and I ended up with really cakey under eyes which nobody ever wants um, so based off that I would not buy this again it worked really good as a primer but I would not pay $120 for a primer so this product would be out for me next up is the shimmer palette I remember when I first opened this I really wasn't that blown away by the products inside um, and I didn't really even want to, to try it, but I did. Um, here they are. Um, yeah, I wish I could say some better things about it. Um, what I will say is this color here called Diamond Fire, which is more of a silvery white, absolutely looks stunning as a corner highlight. I have it in the corners right now or a little bit under the brow bone. Works really great. Um, so this is my favorite color. I would definitely use this this color again. Uh, this color here called Starlight is a green shimmer and this color here called Sun Glitter is a pink shimmer. Um, once you kind of have them on the eye, you really can't tell that they're green or pink. It's very light, light, light. Uh, then you have Gold, gold Aura and then this is called shadow alchemy uh, this is a brown and of course this is a gold um, both of these do come off true to true to their colors uh, the brown alchemy i would or shadow alchemy i think would make a really nice color for a date night like brown smoky eye with a little bit of the gold on it i did try that look together it does look pretty good um, but because it is a brown shimmer, um, it doesn't really give you that little pop. Um, being that they're, it's a five pan palette and it is $72, I definitely would not purchase this product on my own again. Uh, that's a lot to ask. It's like a little over $14 per shade. So yeah, uh, just to be full disclosure, I used the majority of these. I used all of these with the Busy Art um, matte palette that I had also gotten a boxy charm. So I basically used these colors with pretty much every color in this palette. Um, right now I actually am wearing this color and this color and this color with the pink shimmer in here. Um, so that is my, my eye look. Am I blown away by it? Absolutely not. Next up are the set of brushes. These brushes were from Beauty Diva London. They're the Diva Eye Brush Set. They are $48. Um, they're smaller brushes. I absolutely actually loved using these brushes. I have smaller eyes, so this blending brush was really great for getting in there. Um, just as comparison, I kept out the e.l.f blending brush that I got from the advent calendar just so I could show you the the different sizes so you can see that how big 
the e.l.f. one is compared to the Diva one. So I really did enjoy these brushes. Yes, I would actually pay money for these brushes again. Um, they're very soft, nice and dense. The smaller shape is, or smaller size I should say, really does work well I think for smaller shaped eyes. The next up are these two products here. I'm wearing currently wearing them both on my lips as well. I'm kind of going to bring them up at the same time. But this is from House Laboratories and it is the RIP lip liner in the color Endpoint. Uh, it is kind it is a very neutral matte shade. Uh, it is right there. And um, I don't actually have any lipsticks in this color because I don't particularly care for this color on my skin tone. I feel like it makes me look like I am super sick. Um, but I did give this a try. It is creamy. It goes on nice. I would definitely purchase this product again, just in a different color. It is $16. So like I said, I did pair the lip liner with this. And this is from Rowan Beauty, the Kiss My Liquid Lip Balm. It is $26. It's got a little minty kick to it, so it smells good. The minty does go away. It does tingle a little bit because of the mint in it, or whatever product it is that causes it to be minty. The color itself is very similar to my own lip color, which, um, so when I do wear it alone, it literally just looks like my lips only shiny. Um, but combined, I think it does a fairly decent job. It's not my favorite combo. It is not sticky at all. Um, I do like that it has a doe foot applicator. It's a little bit different than a lip balm that comes in a normal squeezy tube. However, I think $26 is a little steep for a lip balm. I would buy it on sale, but I don't think I would pay $26 for it. So that is going to be all for this video. Please comment below and let me know, did you get any of these products? What were your thoughts on them? Your likes, your dislikes? Would you spend your own money to go out and purchase them again? Also, let me know, is this the type of video you, you would be interested in continuing to see a review of the products after they've been used? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in seeing more of my content, please consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I put out new videos. I want to say thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, please take care. Bye!